I can't get enough Elder Deep Fiends into my life. So here is a weird control emergy hybrid with a discard effects like Haunted Dead and Advanced Stitchwing to emerge your Deep Fiends and your Mind Benders. And it also has some sweepers. We get to play with Fevered Visions and Drake Haven, which is just great. And this deck is weird. This deck has a weird curve. This deck does weird freaking things. This deck is weird. I love it. Let's let's go get wrecked. Reopen chat window. Which says I'm offline, but I'm not. Archfiend consideration here. Considered, but it took it it just it was too much to ask to put out Archfiend, then wait a turn, and then uh sweep the board with the discard effect. I I just wanted Radiant Flames instead. It's is what my limb what my testing games came down to was like you know if i have radiant flames in this spot i probably win but i have arch fiend so i have to tap out for my turn and then hope i get to use it next turn we don't have things uh we just don't have a lot of cards like key to the city or insolent neonate to discard on command and get instant effect out of arch fiend i have another deck for that maybe we'll get to it I mean, we've got nothing but time unless Magic Digital Next comes out on August 3rd, but I think the odds of that are basically... Im n no, it's not going to happen. Let's just put it that way. It's not going to happen. Ah, uh, still on that sequel train in chat. We've got Bad Boys 2. <laughs> Dear God, that movie. <laughs> that movie or Transformers 2? Which is more over-the-top stupid? It's actually... A legitimate question. We have Fevered Visions. This hand is basically horrible, but we have Fevered Visions. I I just can't bring myself to Mulligan. <laughs> Alright, what do we get? An island. Island brings this into play untapped. So I'm gonna lead on this tapped Dragon Skull Summit. So that we can have untapped two if we need it, untapped three if we need it. And here comes a veteran motorist. Uh-oh, we might be facing a real deck. And that might mean that Fevered Visions will be a horrible card. This could be a problem. This could be a problem. What are we gonna do? Darn it. Hate playing real decks. All right, well, cut right off the top. Um, so, I guess that's good. We can fill our curve that way, and then next turn we can either play a prized amalgam if they play another creature, or visions if they don't. Seems legit. That frickin' stinky motorist. And a sky skiff has taken the board so that means prize amalgam can't block anything so we may as well get visions rolling let's do this <clears throat> I would love a cathartic reunion or another way to discard uh, this advanced stitch wing and there is a mind bender for if and when I do set it up Oh, yonder. Yeah, you kind of missed the mod hat giveaway. Though, to be fair, the people who receive them have been here, like, a lot. An insane amount. You've been here a very good amount. I'd never, I mean not to take away from you, but the people who received mod hats have been here an insane amount, considering, <laughs> considering just how... Just how silly this whole uh, Magic Duels experience is at the core. <laughs> Nighthawk. See, you you other mods have to learn how to t when to time people out. <laughs> you have to do it at com with comedically funny uh, 
approach like Nighthawk just did. That's a lesson. That's a lesson for all of you. <laughs> Nighthawk timing yonder out for uh, even su for suggesting mod hatting. <laughs> BBB, when are you joining Gwent with the other posers? Well, A, uh, you're calling me a poser, but I'm not. I'm no poser. And B, I'm never joining Gwent. So, hope that was an adequate answer to that. Nice to see you, by the way. BBB, nice to see you. <laughs> are you playing that game, and do you enjoy Gwent? How about that? <laughs> Why don't you tell us stories of your, uh, your latest adventures? So... This is a weird, this has been a weird game. There's still no way to discard anything. <laughs> still no way to get that discard effect. And our opponent hasn't played a creature since we fried the motorist. This has just gone all kinds of sideways. So I'm thinking about just raw dog casting the stitch wing. We could play Jace and see if we get to flip Jace. That's pretty good too. Actually, that's really good, but I just expect it to die, is the problem I have. And if it does die, I guess we cast Stitchwing next turn, but then we have mana we didn't use. So yeah, I'll, I, I'll, I'll go this way. Give ourselves one more turn to draw a Cathartic Reunion or some other shenanigans. Spellweaver in Diablo 3 is where Bounce has been having adventures. Not sure why people were selling Eternal when it's basically Hearthstone. I, I don't know. Ventures in gaming end there. Vehicle ramp, Nighthawk calls this. Uh, what the hell kind of deck that guy playing? We are playing against vehicle ramp. It was a turn two veteran motorist. It's all been bizarre since then. And God knows what could come next. Ah yes, the vehicle ramp, very common in this meta. Now, this this just tells you, I have not played against a smuggler's copter yet today, but this is the second vessel of volatility and a second different archetype to be cast against me. So, there's something for you. Something to something to keep in mind <laughs> about the level of competition these uh, decks are facing at the moment. I don't know what to tell you. There was a time period, like, it lasted only about a week when I first came back. It felt like I was playing more rank 40s than I'd ever played before. And I thought, this is great. Only the diehard fans are still around playing this game. But uh, the last, uh, I think, three or four days, it's just been right back to square one. <laughs> right back to Seal Town. <laughs> and my opponent is going to run their timer into the ground. That's that's quality entertainment. I, I give you fevered visions. I let you draw free cards. And you run your timer into the ground on me? That hurts. That hits me right there. Right in the soul. <laughs> uh, it's a good thing I got my people in the chat room to keep things entertaining. People, Nighthawk would like to point out that this is clear that the uh, rank 40s are clearly testing for the pro tour. <laughs> oh man, I I debate that. I debate the truth of that statement. And the opponent passes on time. Yep, it's gonna be one of those days. All right, let's just massacre them. One, two, one, two, three. So we can do this one time. May as well do it now. Uh, nope, no Drake. No Drake. Nighthawk, for some reason, wants the world to know that he once tried a Vessel deck so that he could go turn three, um, what do we got here? Turn three, Embermaw, Hellion, and then he realized he was being insane. So here are the cards our opponent didn't play last turn. They decided not to cast Gideon of the Trials. <laughs> and not to cast Sky Sovereign. 
So, yeah. Could have cast both of those. Guess was overly intimidated by the Jace. Guess so. I don't know. I don't know anymore. <laughs> I don't know anymore. But hey, we got a planeswalker and a skyship with our distended mind benders, so we've got that going for us. Alright. I'm I'm not playing with this guy anymore. He can have gold. If he just wants to up and leave, I get it. But I'm not gonna take a win for that either. Eh, let's try to get five wins the proper way. As who knows what would have happened if my opponent knew how to cast their spells. Kusho says that Godfather 2 is not better than 1. Well, boom. There it is. Somebody came in. That that got somebody to chat. All we gotta do is talk about movies, y'all. Did anybody go see Valerian? I did not. I said no. I, I passed on that particular movie. I actually didn't go to the movies. And so this week, my wife wants to go see Atomic Blonde, and I'm not very interested. Should I be going to see Atomic Blonde? Does anybody have an opinion on that? Ah, Mortivor and I agree that Godfather is boring. Thank you. I thought I was alone in the universe. Then I found out there were others like me. Oh, this is weird. Um, but I have all my colors, but I don't have enough interaction. I think I got a... Yeah, there we go. I just feel a lot better with a cathartic reunion in my hand. Mortivor saw it. Uh, you must be talking about Valyrian. Did I make a mistake, or was staying home the right call? Talk to me, Goose. Did not care for it. Well... Since we agree on The Godfather, I'm sure we'd agree on Valerian. Or, uh, because I've seen that trailer a hundred times in the last month or so, my wife and I call that movie, ah! That's what we call that movie. <laughs> and I've been told that I will now receive a horse head in my bed ASAP. Right? There's, there's probably a, um, some kind of a delivery site where you can get a horse head blood and guts and all delivered to somebody's bed. There's gotta be. Uh, Atomic Blonde gets a no from a Johnny. Not interested in Charlize Theron. Wow. When was a Theron movie ever good anyway? Fair point. I, I don't I don't think of her as often as most as, as other movie stars so I can't name a bunch of her movies off the top of my head. All right, so this will come in untapped, then we'll play you, and we'll discard you and you, and we'll fiery temper your child tonight. How about that? Mad Max Fury Road. Oh, that's pretty dang good. That was a pretty cool movie. That movie was fun as hell. Yonder gives it an okay. I see we have a difference of opinion. <laughs> Mortivore says, is metal as F is how the sentence ends. <laughs> Funny. Uh, a Johnny hated Monster. Well, I don't think Monster was meant to be entertaining. It was meant to win awards. It's <laughs> the impression I got. So I don't think we're supposed to like that movie if I'm being... Wait, I almost said it. Nighthawk, are you here? I'm going to say it. If I'm being brutally honest... I don't think we were supposed to like that movie. There. I was brutally honest, because being honest just in that moment wasn't enough. Alright, too many lands. And we'll just keep re resolving those. And I believe I forgot in all this excitement to discard my haunted dead. Oh well. Oops, I got too excited to say brutally honest. Misplay. They're easy to make with this deck. The discarding part does throw you. Okay, something's rising from the damn grave. It's a child of night. <laughs> of course it is. It would have to be. Alrighty. That's, there you go. 
Child of Night has risen from the grave. So good, they played it twice. Um, so let's reunion. Don't need all this. Is Hissing Quagmire there? There? At my opponent's side? Hmm. I wish I were paying more attention now. Uh, let's cut this thing. Just because I want to see another rise from the grave out of my opponent. Just to give me the giggles. And we'll get more red. Black is the splash color in this deck. <laughs> and we're not gonna have our mind bender for next turn. Although I guess, mm, maybe I misplayed that too. Oh, in my deck? No, 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 we're not We're not playing Hissing Quagmire in this deck. If that produces green mana, our deck has no green cards. In before the ever after. Oh, what, to get back the Child of Night? Nah, why, why? We have Corpse Hauler. Corpse Hauler will get back the Child of Night. Isn't Fury Road a sequel or remake? Uh, Fury Road, yeah, is a pretty much remake, the way I understand it. Hmm. But it's kind of, uh, it lives in that world. You can take it on, take have your own adventure. Okay, so we could Deep Fiend our opponent. <laughs> I don't know, at this point, I don't even want to bring back my Child of Night, or my, um... I don't want to bring back my Haunted Dead. I'd rather just play out my lands, and then when I have eight lands, I'll just straight out cast these cards. And then I'll also have a lot of mana for ribbons. So I just want to do stuff like this. And then, see, we can flash back the temple. And then once we flash back the temple, we'll be at eight lands next turn, and we can straight up cast Mindbender, straight up cast Deep Fiend. And that should be better than whatever on Earth our opponent wants to do. Uh, yeah, it's that that that's another way to get back your child of night. So this whole deck is built around getting back child of night. It's, is what I'm getting from this. It's it's child of night recursion. <laughs> yep. All right, end of turn. Give me my temple. Give my opponent a card and two damage. Scry me to nothing. Draw me an axe. Nice. Okay. And we'll just straight cast you. And rob your hand. Hungry Flames, Flame Blade, Adept, Child of Night. Um. I guess it's. Hungry Flames is the best card here. All the rest are just mediocre creatures. And we get the Rise from the Grave. I mean, everything else in that hand is outclassed by the Distended Mindbender just being on the battlefield. Not to mention the Deep Fiend that's going to come out next. Uh, Covert Go Blue. This is from Shard. Build an Abzan, Suntail, Hawk, Child of Night Fog deck for the quest of the best. Oh my god. You... How did you do it? You somehow managed to get all the format staples into one deck. That's insane. I mean, we might be lucky to win one, perhaps two out of a hundred games with that kind of a pile. We could be back down to rank one by the weekend. <laughs> Without conceding. <laughs> Dear Lord, you guys are insane. All right, opponent's going to sack stuff to his aristocrat, get powerful. Right on. Right on, opponent. Hmm. <laughs> I guess I could have one open mana, or I could... Ah, shoot. 
I think I'm just supposed to cast my Deep Fiend. So the question is, when do I do that? I could do it now and attack for five. And then have it open for next turn with a Lightning Axe if my opponent tries to get shifty. Yeah, I guess that's better than giving up the damage and doing it on my opponent's turn when there's probably, considering their hand and the cards they have, nothing of significance that I'm going to stop them from doing. Although it just feels weird. Now Nighthawk thinks I have to make that Abzan deck just for the chance that it might make the playoffs. I, I, I believe that will just totally invalidate the legitimacy of all I've ever tried to do as a Magic player. But, whatever. <laughs> easy come, easy go. Oh my lord. Y'all are insane and I love it. So now what? What, what are you going to do with, this, with these creatures? Bone splinters. Shut me down. <laughs> he did it. He top decked the right card. He top decked the kill spell. Uh huh. Yep. He let the child of night go? This is madness. This is this is madness, I tell you. Now I shut down your corpse hauler and his little tricks. How about that? Child will not be back this time. Oh, I've got an Abzan deck. I just can't guarantee you that Child of Night will make the cut. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, Lord. My mods are out to kill me. My mods are conspiring my death. That is what I'm taking away from this whole interaction. They have started a poll about whether or not I have to build this Abzan Suntail Hawk Fog Child of Night deck. And they have all voted yes. And they're the only, like all four of them have voted yes and nobody else even voted. This is, this is a, I, I try to think the best of someone and this is what I get. This is the thanks I Oh my lord. You die too. Everything dies. It's like an episode of House over here. Or a red wedding on Game of Thrones. Everything dies. And okay, I guess one, two, and one. One, two, three, four. I could discard that and that. So I can play this too. Why not? It'll be great. Yeah, a month without WOTC. Okay, this is Nighthawk. A month without Wizards of the Coast support and the mods have become feral. <laughs> True story. True story. I'm not that far off myself. I'm barely clinging to sanity as it is. All right, you've got that stuff. I've got this. Let's bring back the critters. Don't want me around as you're back, CGV. Who's that? Oh, I got him. He voted no. Well, somebody understands that I'm here to be spiky, not janky. Y'all can start your own Johnny's for Life channel if that's what you want. I'm, I'm just messing. Don't. We'll see. Maybe we'll do that. It would really take me going insane. Uh, and speaking of me going insane... Do I have the lethals? If I take out one of those creatures, I get him for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ribbons right now is so huge. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, down to six. Ribbons is definitely lethal. All right. Yep. Should be good. We've already forgotten how instant 
<laughs> Nighthawk says we've already forgotten how instants work. We started putting down liz bellow lizards in our decks. <laughs> this is yeah, this is this has gone tangenty as hell. <laughs> Mortivore played with cruel reality unironically. That's that's special. Oh, we got there. We got there. Opponent just couldn't bring themselves to block with their jackal. Their jackal pup, but it's not a jackal pup. It's like a warrior jackal. And when they're done watching damage effects, we'll put that on the board as a win. Dear God, though, this is this whole extreme is descending into madness. If I don't get a serious opponent to kind of wake me up, I I can't say what will happen next. I just don't know what will happen. In the house, hello. We're having a vibrant chat session today because <laughs> I don't know. Chat's just chat's chat's on another on another plane. They took it to the next level today. Let's just put it that way. They've started polls to try to get me to play decks with four Fogs and four Suntail Hawks and four Child of Knights. That's, I don't, I don't think I could like state it any crazier. That's clearly madness. <laughs> Gravity six and four Pia. All right, let's see if this person can give us a run for our money. Oh man, this hand, if I draw a land, this hand is really fine. I will try to draw that land. Uh, cathartic reunion, of course, would also be nice. Would probably get us there. So, let's see, we all have already. Uh, we have a question, Tim. Are you planning on running a Fling a Drake deck? Uh, we already have. If you want to see the decks we've run and you're interested in the deck list, all you have to do is scroll down through the channel feed that's below uh, the Twitch stream here. I post the decks, the deck lists, and uh, the ones that have already qualified. So. You can find that Drake Fling deck if you want to, and it did, in fact, qualify, so it's there. Can everybody hear me? I've got Twitch chat concerned about that. Shaolin is anyway, but I guess some people can still hear me. Holler if you hear me. I need to know. Ah, uh, he muted me somehow. <laughs> Of course he did. <laughs> Land on time. Land on time. Life is beautiful. Uh, what's better? Visions. Visions is great. Let's do this. And then we got Haven. That'll get cooking. Once Haven and Copter are cooking, we just got Drakes for days. Easy peasy, that's right. Nighthawk, that is right. Easy peasy. This uh, season of Quest for the Best goes back to the release of Amonkhet, and since it will be the final season of Duel's Quest for the Best, I guess it's for the grand bestest of all decks in Amonkhet, so... Interesting. And we're up against some kind of an Embalmed deck? Maybe it's an Embalmed Tokens deck? We'll just have to make sure we don't fall too far behind. Obviously, Axe and Temper gets us right back. So that's good. I think we can still take a turn here. Oh yeah, that's very good. We can take a turn here to Haven. And just have our, like we've kind of got this uh, trio set up cards of death over here. And then we'll get into things like Radiant Flames or something of that nature. How many emerge creatures is he running as Shaolin? And the answer is four. So we've got two Mindbenders and two Deep Fiends on this build. Zombie Merge. Where we name the deck. Going up against uh, Esper Embalm. Esper. Esper Zombies? Zombie Embalm? Because Graph Harvest gives Zombies Menace. 
doesn't quite work with... Oh, my. Yes, yes. Lean into it. Lean into it. Uh, Graph Harvest doesn't quite work with Embalm, because if you exile the creatures from the graveyard for the 2-2, two -two, you don't get to Embalm them. Scrounger, question mark. Nope, no scroungers. Focused instead on the uh, other, uh, the get back zombie styles. All right. So I think the plan is to Radiant Flames. My opponent, this stuff will die. My opponent will either Graph Harvest or they will Embalm something. We will Lightning Axe at something, discard a card make a drake and the next turn start the drake smuggler copter chain seems good we only need to do this for two but i want to leave double red up so we do want to tap the black so i may as well do it for three all right here we go triple lightning axe Naturally. Anybody else draw these multiples on the regular? Uh, Courageous Outrider. Who saw that one coming? It's a zombie human deck. And no reveal. All right. Let's go ahead and give it the axe. We'll discard another axe. Because I want to make a drake, not shoot off a fiery temper. Opponent takes two from Visions, draws a card. We untap. We draw a mountain. Let's keep that and loot it. Or we may loot it. We'll probably loot this Fiery Temper. But now we turn Smuggler's Copter, attack, loot. Now I feel comfortable getting rid of the mountain. We'll make another Drake. Hmm, I don't have a discard outlet right... Well, I guess I could draw... I could draw Haunted Dead. So we'll use a red source. And we'll swing that in. Now we've got Copter Drake party. And Fevered Vision party. And uh, life is good. Let's see what our opponent wants to do for their turn. Pretty sure that's an angelic destiny in there to turn zombie Kithian into an angel. Yeah, maybe it's a max out your creature types type kind of deck shard. Uh, Jissa and Jeralfing coming says Nighthawk. Uh, it, that that was not a that's not a courageous outrider. You're rarely wrong, but you didn't see the courageous outrider. Oh, nobody expects the second courageous outrider. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. All righty. And revealing Liliana, that's that's kind of amazing, because, you know, she was a human once. And let's go ahead and go upstairs and try to finish this game. It's going to be close, but I think we can with the fumarole. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we got there. We got there. All right, power up. And I guess that's the lethal, so we don't have to show him the lethal. Gold for you, sir. Be and may uh, g the god pharaoh's gift be with you, or something. Blessing, what, and kind. <laughs> Weird decks all day today. Yeah, man, that's Xbox. That is for sure. <laughs> yeah, they, they hit that time. They only had to go nine deep to hit a human, and it turned out to be freaking Liliana. That's a brew. That's what we're talking about. They play brew. All right, come on, rank 40s. I know you're out there somewhere. Somebody accept this challenge. Let's Let's get some vehicles in here. Let's get some ramp decks in here. Somebody play... God, I'd even love to play against good old uh, green-black elves. I would love to play against super friends. I would love to, see, to play against five-color planeswalkers. Come on. Please. My problem with the zombie merge decks 
has always been the super friend matchup. They are too slow. Oh, I hope I play super friends. I never found that to be the case. I always found them to be just the right speed for those matchups. I don't know if I ever lose those matchups with this deck. Because the threats just keep coming back in that end of turn, so they play a Planeswalker and my zombies just eat it. I don't know. I guess that's very different experiences. All right. We got a reunion. <laughs> this hand's great. And we're on the draw. Opponent's going to hit that Cinder Varen's Child of Night on the way. And yeah, that's a good draw. That's going to line right up with what we're trying to do. Freying Sandy would have completely ruined this meta, says Shard. Maybe. Edmund's Balls. <laughs> I would like to see an Abzan deck. Uh, I do. I will play an Abzan deck eventually. There is one on my list. So. <laughs> Duffman says, I'd love to play Super Friends, no one ever, until now. And yeah, that's a quote you could use. But really, I, I would be just grateful for somebody to s drop their spiky five-color Super Friends Oath of Planeswalkers deck on me. Bring it. I'm ready. I want to battle that right now. Anything other than these bats. <laughs> these freaking bats over here. All right. Um, let's go ahead and and get reunioned. And I'm sure that I want to discard these Stitch Wings, so that's where I'm gonna go with it. I could hold one and discard the Amalgam. I always like the Amalgam as a surprise though. And I wanna save the Temple in case it's my only untapped land to play next turn. And we are lagging, holy cow. It's gonna be like that. Drew was a Super Friends player, never forget. <laughs> Nighthawk on it. Yeah, Drew of the Wizards of the Coast development team loved his Super Friends. That, that, he's the reason that we had Sylvan Ranger and then didn't have Sylvan Ranger. Broke the meta. <laughs> the bat is the Suntail Hawk of Black, says Zarvold. You might not be wrong. Oh, man. Mono Green Super Friends did get some love. Yeah, some people really like that deck for some reason. Now that you didn't have to fix your mana or get your mana perfect, it was, for some reason, more fair. <laughs> kind of ridiculous. Omega wants to see the Super Friends deck again with only green mana. Well, then maybe I'll bring it back sometime. Can't hurt. I don't think we qualified that deck, so put it on the list. And wow, this hand. Um, hmm. So I'm thinking what I want to do is bring back the 3-4, discarding Prized and Drown Yard. And then I'll save these, because if I get up to a 6-5 mana, I can bring back, as long as two of it's red, I can, bring, I can do a double temper. Although I only have one red right now. But I'll probably draw a red. And is that better right now than Fevered Visions? I think it is. I don't want to fall too far behind on the board. Oh, I do have double red. What am I talking about? I'm an idiot. All right. So yeah, we're just gonna pass and we'll do this on my opponent's attack step. It's the right time to do it. And we've gotta remember we're in lag town, so I better start spamming pause as soon as something happens. Normally I'd wait till they declare attackers, but if the opponent like next levels you, they can just skip their attack step and then you don't get your prized amalgam till the following turn. Vernal scarring. Okay, I'm gonna let that happen though. I'll zap something later. Let's do it. Hello. Lag. There we go. Laggy, 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 laggy. And here comes the beats. 
Interesting. Weaver of Lightning could have hung back to block the 3-4. Of course, I'd probably fry it, but he doesn't know that. And here we go. So this turn is very likely an Oath of Jace, discard Fiery Temper, kill that thing. I really like that line. Let's attack first and see what our opponent does. If we can, of course. We are, we are, we are swimming in lag on this one. This is, this is the lag wars. All right, land, wait for it. Oath of Jace, wait for it. Rip three, hopefully one of them is very discardable. Wait for it. <laughs> yeah. I don't, hmm. I don't need this Evolving Wilds for sure. Discard Fiery Temper. Trigger Madness. Wait for it. And zap. Alright. Your move, opponent. I'm tapped out with nothing to do. I'll be over here answering my chat. <laughs> who have nothing to say about this, which I don't blame them. I do not blame them. <laughs> uh, we, you can all go get a sandwich. I'll be here a while trying to navigate this lag storm. <laughs> so who's coming out for the Pro Tour footage this weekend? I believe it starts... Thursday at around like between 6 and 9 p.m. my time something like that. I think it's like 9 p.m. I'm gonna be screwing up my whole sleep schedule to watch it Is Anybody else gonna do absolute ridiculous and hang out with me if you can that's great if not I won't be mad trust me. I know it's insane but I really want to watch this pro tour because Pro tours have been a tad boring for a while, but the latest like SCG stuff was so much fun Wow that that dude just wrecked my hand. <laughs> wow. Wrecked it. <laughs> but yeah, I think the standard format will be cool. Everything I've watched so far from the SCGs has been a lot of fun. A lot of fun. So is it worth attacking? He'll block. Of course he'll block. I guess we make sure. I mean, well, I'm at 11, so me blocking isn't, tri it's not trivial. It might actually matter, even against a one drop. You might have a pump spell or something, so yeah. Or one power, I mean, so I'll hold back. Nighthawk says it's a respectable 1 a.m. my time. Still may make it out. That would be cool. I always love hanging out with Nighthawk for those things. We... That, that way, he, he just has the best comments. I don't know. He's, he's, an, he's a comment ninja. He's so good, they read him on air sometimes. Oh, wow. Hit me with that bone splinters. I like it. I like this. Come on. Come on. No? Maybe not? Tell me, he, it suddenly occurred to him, I should attack first, then Bone Splinters. Nah. Then, then dis, did nothing. And now, now I can't, now I, I lagged out. I lagged through the turn. I couldn't get my, back my, um, my critter. So there you, there you have it. All right. Well, whatever is what it is. I couldn't do anything on end step. There's, there's just no doing anything. I'm just gonna do it now. I mean, forget timing. It's not gonna work. <laughs> Nighthawk says, I wouldn't miss Larson winning the PT. Well, I guess he's got his pick. Talk about a man crush. It's one of the hardest man crushes in history that I've ever seen. Nighthawk and Joel Larson. <laughs> I I just picture if Nighthawk and Joel Larson were in the same room, he'd be squealing like a little girl and like hiding 
under a table or something if I was trying to introduce them. <laughs> like, hey, will you sign my friend's flame shadow conjuring? <laughs> will you sign his marionette masters, please? Joel would be like, huh? I mean, okay. What, are those even cards? Nobody knows what those do. <laughs> All right, our opponent pulled out the Ember Maw. I feel like I should attack and Radiant. If he blocks, I just Radiant Flames. That feels pretty right. Would I rather have a loot? I guess I can loot away the mountain, but I don't want to blow up my smuggler's copter. That's the thing. So, yeah, let's uh, send the team. See if we can draw some blocks here. <laughs> Nighthawk with, again, one of those comments. Uh, he says, yeah, Larson would be starstruck. <laughs> are you, are you Nighthawk233 from YouTube? Will you sign my Flame Shadow Conjurings? I'm going to play them in my standard deck. Oh, wait. Sorry, those aren't in standard anymore. I'm going to play those in my modern deck. <laughs> that sounds even crazier. Oh, my lord. Oh, God. What the, what's happened? I, I thought the madness was over. It's not even close. So, we can do that, and that will kill his Ember Maw. Or we can do this and kill it. I guess I guess this is just better because th then I can uh, also play because if I discard card to lightning axe then I can't get back my graveyard guys and if I don't discard a card to the lightning axe I do nothing else with this turn <laughs> you mean pro tour champ Joel Larson like who is this Larson guy that's funny All right, bring back the zombies. We haven't done any emerging, but we have had zombies this game. That Weaver of Lightning is overworked. And this is by far the laggiest game of the night. Ugh. Rise from the Grave. Did the Ember Maw Hellion win the Rise from the Grave lottery? Is that what I can expect here? What will it be? Weaver of Lightning gets to deal a free point of damage. Waiting for the lag to end. So opponent's going to take six. Then I'm going to use ribbons. That will deal them four. So I need to draw an untapped land and we can end this game. Come on. Show me the way. One time. Uh, that Does that work? What can I... Uh, yeah, that works. So, crew. Crew. Euler. And we drew the, the emerge from the zombie emerge just in time. Lagging, lagging, trying to cast my spells. Tap your guys. Now they know Bloxies. And that's a lethal attack. Let's let them have the gold and get the hell out of Lagtown. But we'll take the win. We're at 3 and 0 oh, going into the fourth game. For those actually keeping track and not distracted by all the shenanigans we're up to today, I love the shenanigans personally. Why? That's why I've got a great group. Great group out here with me. Have we lost a game today? Fair question. The answer is no. No. We're at 8 0. 9 0 if you count that game that uh, I left because the guy was taking too long. I think we would have won it, but I decided not to count it because it wasn't earned in any way. What time is it? 
Yeah, still plenty of time to stream if we want it. I just don't know if I can. The, the embers, the fire might be burning low just based on the competition I faced. It just, nothing's quite woken me up yet. But hopefully that will change. You never know. As we step into the arena with another unknown foe. This is uh, Lily Hank, Liliana chilling in a chair, eating some desert delicacies. Some desert desserts. Chair itself looks like some kind of a tinfoil wrapping. Cutthroat Becky is our opponent. Well, we're both Liliana emblems, or Liliana uh, avatars, so we have things in common. I believe I can keep this hand. I need to draw a way to discard this, but if I discard this or it dies, life is pretty good. So let's open up by getting our red mana. So if we draw a cathartic reunion, we can play it. Don't want me around, which is a screen name, says all that velvet makes me nauseous. Well, you don't have to wear it. Shard wants Nighthawk to know that Shard cannot find evidence of Joel ever having played Flame Shadow Conjuring or Marionette Master, but I guarantee you he has. He's too cool not to. Nighthawk wants to throw in yet. <laughs> Nighthawk throws in a, a one-word zinger. Now, uh, this new format, who knows, maybe he will have discovered that Marionette Master is in fact the nuts. <laughs> Who knows? I keep punching my mic. It's just in my way as I'm trying to read the chat. Sorry about that. I'll try to get better. Black white, but no play. Okay, so still no way to discard. So the question is, do we want to just cast our prize amalgam and beat him up? I think what we want to do is play the Haven so that if we draw a reunion, we're just online doing it. And we'll see if my opponent is the Solemn Offering main deck type. Marionette Master and God Pharaoh's Gift is a deck, I swear, says Nighthawk. That is true, it is. I have seen these deck lists. Is it a Pro Tour deck? That is a question mark. Oh! Turn three, Lily. So someone came to play. Please activate that. Please activate that. Please activate it. Come on, Becky. Come on, Becky. Yes, that's that's what you're supposed to do. Okay. I was worried that Becky may not have a lot of experience ticking up Planeswalkers, but she has proven herself, and we'll put out this prize amalgam and make her cope. This is going to get in. We're going to have a game. Maybe we can go Liliana into Gideon and really force me to play smart. All right, Bygone Bishop is the play. That is something that may need to die. Hmm. So this is weird, because I really sort of want to cast either cast a Haunted Dead, but Liliana can kill the token. I also want to cut this thing. Maybe I'm just supposed to do that, but then I can't do anything else this turn. It's not very good. A very mediocre turn it just treads water but if my opponent plays another creature and I have a haunted dead out he kills my token then I have five power say he plays another creature to make a she plays another creature makes a clue we can play cut and get rid of it one of the creatures if we draw land we can temper as well and that should kill Liliana but either way we should have decent attacks So I think I should play the Haunted Dead after all that. Let's see what happens. 
I'd just not make enough progress on the board if I only cut the bygone bishop here. I think I have to let my opponent have value if they have that kind of hand, but I, I just can't give up the board with an active planeswalker like Lily out there. It's the way I see it. It's my thinking, if anybody's interested in my thinking. Where did the name Covert Go Blue come from, asks Duffman. The answer is it was one of the suggested names when I got my Xbox Live account. Not that inspiring, I know. So does my opponent have Archangel freaking Avazin? Probably. The other choices are another removal spell, and I'm fine with either of these dying. Also, this is a really good draw. I can play this, I can Fiery Temper, I can take out the Bishop, or I can tick down the Liliana. This can kill the Avacyn the following. The real question is, do I attack here? I mean, if this... So I just kind of want this to die. So even if there is an Avacyn, I think I attack. And there it is. Okay, so now I could kill the bishop, but then I don't get to use the dead. So no, I think I just let my I let my boys die. Good, good. Okay, so on his turn, we can make two drakes and uh, discard two cards, which are going to be these two. And then on my turn, we can fiery temper and cut, I think. Or maybe just, yeah, we might end up just cutting. But if I get a land or a way to discard, I can fiery temper as well. That's the plan. And then Liliana's on seven, but, it do but we have a fiery temper, so it's okay. It's okay. But yeah, we've got a good game. It's on. Uh, this this is real stuff. The Cultivator's Caravan. A little vehicle flare as well. I should not tick that up yet. Should wait until I get back my creatures, but it looks like the opponent's going to miss that. Powering up the vents. Okay. Well, we've got an interesting choice coming up of whether or not to flip his Avacyn. Maybe we just kill his Avacyn. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. All right. Here we go. <laughs> hey, wing. Hey, one. Bang. So cut for his Avacyn. Or do I just want to take six? I think I just take six, I cut his Avacyn, and I kill his Liliana. Yeah, that sounds great. Been trying duels of two. Yeah, again, it's don't know. Rabbit decides to. All right, so cut you. Now he can block there, but it still dies, so we'll just turn everything sideways on Lily. And we might lose a Drake, but I can live with that. And it's the free block on one of the Drake tokens, which is probably the best call for the Bishop. Not sure what he might be afraid of, though. I suppose there are things. And then we have another Haunted Dead to get back if we want to here, but I'd rather wait till I had open mana. Because once I have open mana, uh, I can just make some drakes as well. And he decides to block the other Haunted Dead. All right. At least I have an instant speed spirit if I decide I need one. 
or a chump blocker. Say he powers up uh, the caravan, maybe that's a good move. She, I keep on saying he, but the name is Becky. I should probably go with the hint that I have. Bon shoddy, I've got CGV online. Yes, you do. You've got me. Uh, Shaolin's off to trivia night. Any last minute trivia facts you need? Well, you will already learned where my name comes from. I don't know what else you could be looking for. Lang what the? So my opponent generates a clue, fails to attack. Oh, when it dies, it gets a 3-2. That's why we played the Desperate Sentry, but that's not a card I see very often. And now the question is, do I get these back now? And I still think the answer is no. I still think the answer is no. I think I would much rather have the, the, the drakes when I do it. And there's a land. Hallelujah. So what do I want to discard? I guess the Radiant Flames for sure. And the land. As much as I like having it, I don't think I can afford playing it, as Temper is just really good. Although if I play the land, I can discard Temper and Flames and play the Temper. That's really good. Yeah. And then we'll just save Othages. That's great. That's that's exactly what I want to do. Did you know the human head weighs eight pounds? There you go. Good facts. Explosive vegetation, and suddenly it is an Abzan deck. Cutthroat Becky, what secrets do you hold? It could be a five-color deck now. Blue cracked. All right. All the mana being tapped. Okay, so I can't risk this turn getting away from me, so we've got to do this now. And we rebuild. Excellently, I might add. <laughs> and the prize amalgam. Yeah, the zombie entourage has re-arrived. Let's send in these critters. I'm prepared for my next board wipe. I wonder if that means I should hold on to the Oath of Jace. Yeah, I probably should, because I think I have some other things in the graveyard. Yeah, I can always flash back one of these if I'd rather do that. So I'm gonna just hang on to this. If he wipes my bo if she wipes my board, I can just rebuild another six, seven, eight power, nine power. Good. Good stuff. And here is Thalia. Well, I guess I can just do it now then. And now they won't enter tapped, I guess. I'll feel really silly if my opponent plays Thalia into a sweeper. But it should be lethal. Spawn wants to know what I'm brewing in standard now. I haven't been brewing much in standard. I, I ordered some cards, but they haven't arrived but uh, Deep Fiend, emergy type stuff. Mostly of the Saltai variety, because I want tireless trackers in just about anything I play. So it's like Traverse the Uvenwald, Elder Deep Fiend, tireless tracker, and I go from there. I guess we could check the opponent's hand and play around Fog. Seems smart. Gotta play around that fog. Oh, okay. Did not see this coming. We was about to have our providences decimated. Uh, Archangel's another choice, but I think it's gotta be the providences as I, I do not wanna lose out of nowhere. And there's a concession. Four wins, one to go. Ooh, buddy, we almost got pigged. We almost got piggied.
Almost got the almost got pigged. Stuck by the piggy. <sighs> that could have ended in tears. It certainly could have. Although I'll give tears, I'll more like give a salute. A John Cena on the 4th of July patriotic salute to somebody who's straight out decimator of providences me out of nowhere. Nighthawk says, when I see cards like that, I have no shame when we in chat call out random cards that screw you over. <laughs> Nor should you. Uh, there's a new tournament coming, Shop Championships. Will you participate, asked Spawn. I don't like being in my shop very much. That's the honest truth. I don't like it there. So, I probably won't. I keep on thinking I want to start my own and like... Just make it a chill place to hang out, because the place right now, I, I do not enjoy being there. I, I've talked about this on stream before, but it's been a long time, so probably none of you have heard it. It's the most bizarre thing. They either have uh, hockey on in the store, which, okay, whatever. I live in the north of, you know, northern Michigan. That's kind of a big deal. I get it. And I can deal with that. But when they don't have hockey on... They have reality television on. And I can't play magic well with really loud, like, reality television shows going. It, it is, it's the worst. It's just no fun. Um, and I honestly think I'm better at it than most of my opponents. And I, I, honest to God, I think I win a lot of my games because they get distracted and have to look up at reality television while I stay focused. But it's not a fun way to play Magic. Let me just put it that way. I think it's part of what makes me at least kind of good at Twitch streaming because, I mean, I basically stress test my ability to make decent plays under difficult conditions when I went into that store all the time. And now it's, it's like, man... You guys can throw questions at me. There can be lag. Things can be going on. Uh, music. I can be talking about three things at once. And I can still play Magic probably 90% well. I still screw up sometimes. But I'd say 90% of the time it's, it's, it's good enough. You know what I mean? And that's because I'm used to trying to focus and play and win tournaments with reality freaking television at high volume. And it's horrible. So... No, I don't really want my store championship. I'd rather stay home. I'd rather listen to anything else. I honestly feel dumber after listening to that stuff. Even even if it's background noise, I just... Ugh. That's, that's what I can say about it. I can say ugh. Do I give this one more turn for the massive blowout? What do you guys think? I can go one more turn, or I can get... Get things rolling now. What's the best thing my opponent could play? Given the way these starter decks usually com com comprise themselves, maybe it's a primal hunt beast, which maybe I should be giving that a chance to resolve, as that could be a pain. I'm going to play with fire. Let's give our, give our seal opponent a chance to have their way with me. Buy that place and change the channel. It's also a really small place. Like, it's just cramped. It smells bad. I like that they have soda for a dollar. But I, what I really want is some place, I don't know, just a lot a lot more chill. I'd, I'd love to buy some place that was similar to a log cabin and make it big enough to put a gaming store in and have uh, a wide selection of snacks and beverages that maybe weren't all absolutely hideous for you. I'm not a health food nut, but I try to eat, I try to eat a reasonable amount of healthy food and some amount of junk food. So it's, it's like, it would be a mix. But again, this is my perfect store. I'm not sure if it would be stores for other people. How many regular players are there? There's uh, between 20 and 30 players regularly. Ooh, Solemn Offering. Brutal. So, 20 to 30 players. It's something. There are also three stores in the area. One of them almost never fires on Friday Night Magic, but they focus mostly on tabletop games. And then there's the third one, which is a paintball store that also has magic, which I feel ridiculous going in there. 
because I don't do anything paintball. And that's what everybody talks about, is paintball. So I don't go in there. But anyway, that's that tells you a little bit about the area. And I just, I don't like it. I, I decided if I'm going to go out and play standard and things like that again, I'm going to travel to the real events. I'm going to travel to the qualifiers and the Grand Prix trials and uh, the SCG stuff. So when I get my cards, if I decide to go full standard again, I'm going to go play some real tournaments. Not the, not the local game store, not the Friday Night Magic, not unless a new place opens up, something I would enjoy more. All right, we've got a Guardians of Miletus. Ugh. I think I'll discard these. You, you. <laughs> Spawn says, we only have one store. It usually has eight regulars. They are all very competitive. I want to play Magic in the real world, a.k.a. the USA. Well, thanks for the endorsement. And uh, see you, Sucho. Thanks for coming out. I hope you had fun. Uh, going to the theater with my little girl. Enjoy. I hope it's not to see Valyrian. Do vlogs about the tourneys, asks Nighthawk. If you get to my highest level on Patreon, maybe I'll vlog about my tournaments. Just kidding. I'd probably do it no matter what. Or at least talk about it on my stream. All right. Um, yeah, we'll just do that on his turn. No prized amalgams. <laughs> paper. Shard says that paper is not ready for Nighthawk. I agree. I do agree with this. Opponents in the tank. They've played Critter, Critter 06. And now Nimbus Wings on the 06? No? Yes? Okay. Nimbus Wings now on the 06. Um, so, the Donald Trump build a wall strategy is in effect. How will we, how will we get over around the 1-8 flyer? That is now the question. Hello, Echo. Welcome. We do, in fact, be dueling. I think I will just bend the mind. We can't let any more shenanigans come out of that hand. Oh, wow. Okay. Um. What the heck? Am I supposed to take this? I mean, I think this is better even if I don't control an enchantment. And maybe this is better than both of them. Ugh. I mean. Yeah, I think this is better than both. God, this is weird. Okay, now what? We can emerge a deep fiend. Eh, we'll just wait. We'll just wait, see what our opponent does. Uh, Nighthawk's favorite play from Magic Origins was Gatecreeper Vine into Infectious Bloodlust. And that is self-admitted. Nighthawk said this. <laughs> oh, man. First loss of the day is looming. <laughs> Did Mexico pay for this wall? Let's just say net. Let's say Mexico paid for the Nimbus wings. How about that? <laughs> oh my! Here comes that card. I guess I'm discarding the fiery temper. It's just not gonna kill these four toughness and eight toughness cards. And I do want to emerge these deep fiends, so I need something to emerge off of. So this won't do. I mean, do I just do it now? I don't want to discard these to the haunted dead. Keep the chain going. So I guess I pass. Ugh, weird. I love opponents like this because you never know what's coming next. And I love when you play decks that let you see their hands because it makes for amusing videos. 
Right on. I'm not going to read what's going on in chat. I'm just going to say, <coughs> Brad Nelson, cough, cough. Brad Nelson versus Joel Larson in a uh, cross-country marathon. That's what I'll say. Uh, come on, opponent. Come on. I know your last card. I know it's Conclave Naturalists. I I know you're not, you don't want to blow up your own stuff. Come on, man. There you go. That's how you pass the turn. All right. Let's emerge. Let's tap down your boys. And let's punch you for 10. And then we can set this whole thing up again with uh, Haunted Dead next turn. And that should do it. Uh, the Naturalist is a May ability. I'm sure he's just in the tank about the usefulness of a 4-4. Four, four. Wait, what, what? I know your hand. Don't pause me. You don't have fog. I know better. Don't scare me like that. Jeez, oh, Pete. The, the opponents I deal with here. Oh, my lord. Art your cunt says hello. Hello. We're just we're just here chilling. Letting our opponent decide whether or not to use a conclave naturalist and they're going to play a force mage. So now I know the contents of their hand. I know they can't cast anything else. So let's lock this thing down. We have to use the haunted dead here because if we use the stitch wing, we only have two blue. So we won't be able to use our deep fiend if we get back to stitch wing. We'll discard like that. We'll get back the Haunted Dead, which we can emerge off of. It's the magic number of a four cost with three open mana. Then we can tap down your boys. We know their last hand is the Conclave Naturalists. So we got this. We got this. We got there. And get that back. And yep, we chained off. But our opponent... Learn to play a little faster, but we will still concede to you. You get the gold. Unlock some cool cards. Magic gets more fun that way. Woo! All right. 5-0. and oh, We did it. We 5-0'd with... It's just... I mean, there was one opponent who played turn 3 Liliana. And, uh... That wasn't, the, they had a languish, that wasn't the easiest game, but man, man have we played against, we played against some messes. But next time we come back, we'll play some different uh, decks as we continue to just go through all the things I can find in this meta to possibly do. And maybe someday, maybe someday, Abzan Suntail will be there. I'll just tease that. If it keeps you coming back, it keeps you coming back. Well, thanks everybody for hanging out today. I had a really good time. And maybe tomorrow uh, evening we can do some Pro Tour watching or over the weekend. It'll be at weird hours, but come by the channel anyway. Maybe, maybe some of us will be hanging out and we can say hello. All right. Thanks all. I'll see you later. Adios.